So there are two primary contracts we're going to start off with in the evening here at the eMini Trader Talk. And the very first one is the S&P 500. And the reason we're going to start with the S&P 500 is it is the most liquid of all the contracts. And let me show you what I mean. If I bring the ES up right now, there are nine contracts on the bid, 110 contracts on the ask. All right? Very straightforward price. If I put my mouse, and this is part of the dome, the way we, I've got it set up, but if I put my mouse on here, right where I am now, you see where I'm moving it on, it says limit one. If you look up at the top, bid and ask, it shows 2073.50, 2073.75. So 50. 75. We're within one tick of each other. But the most important thing for you to see here right now is there are nine contracts available on the bid, 110 on the ask. This is on the ES, which is the S&P 500. If I switch over to the Dow, there's two on the bid, one on the ask. And my bid ask, although it's not terrible, there's a two-point difference or a two-point spread on the bid ask, so it's slightly bigger. But the bigger reason for going with the ES in the evening is purely the amount of contracts available and traded. You can see in this dome on the far right we have a volume which shows how many contracts have gone off at that price level. But if we go back and look quickly at the ES, you can see there's been a few more, 400, 400, 300, and so forth, right? We're going to switch back to the YM. 40, 10, 38, and so on, right? Nowhere near as many contracts available. <clears throat> now, there's another reason for that. I'm not ready to divulge it to you yet, but there's a reason that even here, the volume is so light. There should be more contracts than that, usually at this time available. I will show you what's going on in just a little while as we get through the presentation. 